Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to bring you guys a control versus control game of Hearthstone, and it doesn't involve Reno decks. And, uh, you know, that just seems like a really silly thing to highlight. It seems like a really stupid thing, but uh, it's not. It's really the kind of game mode that I really... It really built up Hearthstone for me, and I didn't realize it's something I hadn't experienced in so long until I actually played one of those games the other day. You know, these days, all these decks have very different win conditions and generally have to do with tempo combos or just aggro. And if you try to play a control deck, you're really just you know, trying to stay alive at every single point in the game. You're not actually really playing your deck, let alone seeing your opponent play their control deck in front of you and playing around all the different things you may need to. And, you know, when it's Reno versus Reno, all of that kind of breaks down because everything has a much lower chance of happening. Your opponent having any specific card is chance that basically halved down, and is an experience that uh, I think is important to recognize because I almost forgot about it, and it was certainly the most enjoyable part of the game for me. So today, I want to give you guys an awesome example of the games that I miss most in Hearthstone, and I really hope they come back, hopefully, pretty soon. Enjoy the game, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Am I going to get Pirate Warriored? Well, if it is, I think I just lose no matter what, so we're gonna pretend it's not a pirate warrior and steal some of his shit. Alright. Love the stream, I wish it's that good at Hearthstone. I just proved how good I was in that last game. I won, didn't I? Yeah. Bit your ass at one. Okay, we're in for a long game, guys. This is my EU account. Crip EU. It's kind of a weak card, though. Mm. Okay, I guess. What's the two mana cost card? The new Execute. It's not as good as the old Execute, but you know, it's alright, I guess. Alright, let's try something super stupid here. I'm thinking that, like, my deck has a lot of draw, but he can counter my plays pretty well. So, if I'm gonna win the fatigue game, I need to make him draw. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I should have... I think there's just going to be uh, stuff that's going to be more difficult to deal with than that. Like, usually these warriors have, like, Nazoth or Cthune or something. Well, he's still at 10 cards right now, so that's fine. Like, that's a pretty nice card to entomb. Hmm, fine. Take it. Hey, that's my king. I got two Sylvani. It's ten cards. Nice. I 
think I'm going to play Nazoth pretty soon. Maybe I'll wait for a museum curator. I'm not going to want to take his card draw cards, so the only thing that's going to work is an Armorsmith. And that assumes he's actually running Armorsmith. Am I getting get in here? Oh, slime without draw. Nice, nice. Yeah, I don't really want to draw, but I think I kind of have to. Yeah. Okay, sure. Let me change Please. your mind, Steve. Yeah, my deck is so stacked right now. Like, I'm just drawing shit. We got Entomb, Two Sylvanas, Mind Control, Thought Steal, Two Curators. Nah, I don't want to Entomb that. This is a standard match. Steal everything priest versus control warrior. Oh, come on. What the fuck is that? Should probably just use these. Just on nothing. Alright, anyway, there's, there's only two bad cards in my deck right now. Hmm. It's a little tricky. I have no time for games. I don't want to entomb it, but I think it's okay. Yeah, it's not a bad entomb, but it's not a good entomb either. In the last two seasons, you've gone just under 160 warriors, and three of them were control warriors. What? Rigged, dude. Alright, here we go. Okay. It's monkey time pretty soon here. You know, that's not too bad. I think it's still wait though. I guess he's got other dragons, huh? Taste my Welcome to the exhibit. You might ask why? It's because I can actually use this card if he kills it. He can also not kill it. I'm fine with that. Mm, that I might entomb. His cards are better than my cards. No, I want to entomb the um, the monkey if I can. Got it. Yeah, that's how I can make use of the the shitty cards in my hand. That was that was a pretty good in tomb, guys. Or uh, thought steal. Okay. 
Okay. No need for brawl. This time for sure. I have to play in Tomb before Nazoth. I have to play in Tomb, then Nazoth, then Golden Monkey. Interesting. Welcome to the exhibit. That's probably a really bad idea. Fine, I'll just re-roll that one. Seem pretty bad. Hey, that's my king. I think I'm just gonna entomb the next thing he plays. It's a really good thing to entomb, by the way. Um oh, actually this is probably better. I have no time for games. I want this before I play Gold Monkey because I want to turn the arcane missiles into legendaries. an issue. Alright, fuck Nazoth, let's go. off Genzo here. Genzo is going to power mill him. <laughs> Genzo lethal. Genzo just hit him for what? Six, seven, eight, five? Oh my god, twenty-six. 